These restless spirits and supernatural presences have shocked and terrified people around the world. Whether you're a believer or a skeptic, join us today as we count down the eight creepiest ghost sightings. Today's video was requested by Jacob Hallett. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 8. Abraham Lincoln Abraham Lincoln is among the most beloved presidents in the history of the United States. Naturally, as with many historical figures, Lincoln is surrounded by legends and mysteries. One such story centered on the fact that he had a premonition about his death. Lincoln told his friend Ward Hill Lamont about a dream that he'd had in which he'd wandered at a funeral being held in the East Room of the White House. In his dream, Lincoln asked a nearby guard who the deceased was and the guard told him, the president, he was killed by an assassin. It is said that after Lincoln was shot and killed by John Wilkes Booth, even Mary Todd was amazed of how her late husband had foreseen his own death. Since 1865, there have been numerous sightings of Lincoln's ghost at the White House. Eleanor Roosevelt claimed that she felt his presence and believed him to occasionally be in the same room with her. First Lady Grace Goodhue allegedly saw Lincoln as he stared at the Potomac with his arms clasped behind his back. A young clerk had reportedly seen Lincoln sitting on a bed and removing a pair of boots. A number of White House visitors, staff, and even several presidents, including Harry Truman and Theodore Roosevelt, have reported inexplicable events taking place in the building, all believed to be connected with Lincoln's ghost. Number 7. Phantom Monk A photograph revealing a startling apparition was taken in 1963 at the Skelton Cum Newby Church of Christ the Consoler by Reverend Kenneth Lord. The ghostly figure, believed to be that of a dead monk, has a cowl, long robes, and is seemingly holding its arms folded together. Its creepy, drooping face is unsettling and brings to mind several horror films. Some believe that the ghost is wearing a mask, while others think its face is the result of a horrible deformity. The ghost is also around nine feet tall when compared to the surrounding furniture. The photo has been analyzed by several experts who didn't find it to be the result of double exposure. Number 6. Flying Dutchman The story of the Flying Dutchman is one of the best-known maritime myths, believed to have originated in the 17th century during the golden age of the Dutch East India Company. It's the inspiration for numerous works of literature, music, cinema, artwork and others. The Flying Dutchman is a legendary ghost ship doomed to sail the seas forever and never make port, with many reported or alleged sightings throughout the years, particularly in 19th and 20th centuries. Those who've seen it claim that the phantom ship glows with a ghostly light. In ocean lore, it's said that the sight of the Flying Dutchman is a bad omen and an indication of impending doom. If another ship hails it, the cursed crew of the Flying Dutchman will attempt to send messages to land or to people long dead. Witnesses would sometimes describe how the ghost ship would appear to be on a collision course heading straight for their vessel only to see it vanish before their eyes moments later. Number 5. Tsunami Ghosts These creepy ghost sightings involve Japanese cab drivers and victims of the devastating tsunami that struck Japan in 2011. In the wake of the disaster, college student Yuka Kudo traveled to a town called Ishinomaki, where around 6,000 people lost their lives. She started talking to cab drivers and asked them if they had experienced anything strange after the tsunami. Most didn't have anything to say, but seven of them detailed eerily similar incidents in which they picked up ghost passengers. These ghosts looked like normal people and would get into their cabs and tell the drivers their destination before disappearing suddenly without paying the fare. As one incident suggested, these weren't normal people who simply wanted to avoid paying for their cabs. One passenger 
asked the driver to take her to an area that had been destroyed by the waves. Puzzled by her request, the driver told her that the particular district had been wiped out. The passenger then reportedly asked him, have I died? When the driver turned around to look at her, she was gone. Number four, Orang Minyak. In the Malay language, Orang Minyak literally translates as oily man. According to the legend, the Orang Minyak was a man cursed while attempting to win back his love with magic. The devil offered to help the Orang Minyak and give him the powers of the black arts and dark magic. In return, for what he was offered, the Orang Minyak would have to worship the devil and rape 21 virgins within seven days. During the 1960s, sightings of the Orang Minyak were reported around several Malaysian towns. It was described as a human or the spirit of a human, naked and covered in oil. The mass hysteria got so bad that unmarried women, usually from student dormitories, would borrow men's clothes in order to give the spirit the impression that they were with a man. Sightings and events associated with the mythological creature continued into the 2000s. Some took advantage of the Oran Minyak myth in order to commit horrible crimes. In 2005, there were reports of rapists armed with knives and covered in oil that sought victims in the towns best known for sightings of the mythological creature. Number 3. Brown Lady one of the most famous ghost photos ever taken is that of the Brown Lady of Raynham Hall. In September 1936, photographers for Country Life magazine were documented in 17th century Raynham Hall in Norfolk, England. While one of the photographers, Captain Hubert Provend, had his head buried in the focusing cloth, his assistant, Indri Shearer, noticed a strange veiled figure coming down the house's oak staircase. Shearer quickly asked Proven to take a picture, but by the time the captain raised his head, the mysterious figure had disappeared. Proven initially suggested that his assistant had imagined the whole incident. Nevertheless, the development process revealed the ghostly apparition, whom many believed to be the spirit of Dorothy Townsend. She officially died in 1726 of smallpox, although some stories claim that she'd actually died after her husband locked her away in her bedroom for committing adultery. Sightings of the ghost had been reported ever since the 1800s. While staying at Raynham Hall in 1849, a man called Major Loftus saw a woman in brown brocade and approached her right before she disappeared. Loftus noticed that there were only two black holes where her eyes should have been. Number 2. Bell Witch The story of the Bell Witch of Tennessee began circulating in the early 1800s after farmer John Bell and his family moved to the community of Red River, Tennessee from North Carolina. Before long, the family started reporting a variety of strange incidents. These included whispering voices similar to those of old women singing hymns, night terrors about rats, gnawing away at the family's beds, and the sighting of a bizarre animal which appeared to be a hybrid between a rabbit and a dog. A spirit believed to have been that of a woman called Kate Batts began haunting Belle's home. The entity was able to speak, change form, and even affect the physical environment. According to legends, the family also discovered a vial containing an unknown liquid inside the house. They gave a dose of the liquid to their cat, and the animal died on the spot. As the story goes, before he became president, Andrew Jackson had heard of Bell's troubles and decided to investigate the haunting. He and several of his men, including a witch slayer that carried silver bullets in his gun, visited Bell's farm, and it was Jackson who dubbed the presence the Bell Witch. By 1820, John Bell had grown ill due to the witch's constant torment. By some accounts, it was the witch that actually poisoned him. After his funeral, the sounds of laughter and singing could be heard coming from the graveyard, and Bell became the only person in history whose death was attributed to the actions of a spirit. Number 1. Kuchisake Ona Kuchisake Ona, or the Slip Mouth Woman, is one of Japan's most famous ghosts, whose story dates as far back as the Edo period. Some legends describe her as a former mental asylum patient. The favored version is that the woman was disfigured by her husband, who was a samurai. 
When he found out that she'd been having an affair, he drew his sword and cut her from ear to ear, asking her, who will think you are beautiful now? According to legends, the ghost approaches her victims while wearing a surgical mask or a scarf and asks, am I pretty? If they answer no, the ghost will stab them to death on the spot or brutally murder them later that night. If their answer is yes, the woman removes her mask to reveal her slit mouth and repeats her question. Should the victim scream or answer yes, the Kuchisake owner will slash their mouth from end to end to make them resemble her. Reported sightings began around the Nagasaki prefecture in 1979 and quickly spread to the rest of Japan causing panic in numerous towns. The police increased their patrols and children could only go home in groups escorted by their teachers. Recent sightings include reports from South Korea in 2004 of a woman with a red mask frequently seen chasing children and a 2007 coroner report of a woman from the 1970s who did the same. She died after being hit by a car and her mouth had been ripped from ear to ear. Many stories of archaeological findings of giant men have appeared on the internet. The most famous of these was the story about a giant human skeleton uncovered in the desert during gas exploration in Saudi Arabia. Pictures were included, linked with the Islamic story of the Prophet Hud, 